a wallaby snag. Yellowtail kingfish are a highly mobile pelagic species. They're widespread extending throughout temperate waters of the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian Oceans. In Australian waters, stock numbers are coming back along the entire southern seaboard. This is pretty exciting for us recreational fishermen. In the 1900s, commercial fishermen used to trap kingfish in large floating kingfish traps, and this was officially banned in New South Wales in 1996. Since then, stock numbers have been coming back in healthy numbers, which brings us down to Tassie. Tasmania and its cool climate doesn't seem to hold stock numbers for long, but this year it looks like we're shaping up for a pretty good season. Most kingfish caught in Tassie are known as rat kingfish. They're juveniles, but they're still incredibly fun to catch, still fight very hard pound for pound, and make for an incredible meal. They're elusive and frustrating, but incredibly exhilarating when you know that they're nearby. Stay tuned because we're sharing just how we managed to secure a beautiful set of models for the dinner table. Now I'm sorry to disappoint the locals, but this episode has nothing to do with the Tasman Bridge. Good morning, Wallaby Snag. Welcome to another episode of Tadscast down here in the Tribunna Orford area. With Zabi. How are you, bro? guys. Good, thanks. How are you this morning? Fresh? Yeah, fresh. Ready to catch a good kingfish. Yeah. Yeah. And I've got Griff over here. Yeah, there you go. How are you this morning? Yeah, good. I'm sorry. This is playing with uh, squid that we've just caught. Um, trying to load up on squid this morning so we can throw them out in case the topwater lures aren't getting taken. Uh, but kingfish is on the menu today. So fingers crossed we can find some. Let's get into it. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. The first objective for this trip was to catch some southern calamari for bait. The reason why is because sometimes when you're throwing topwater lures around, the kingfish will follow you up to the boat. When they see that bait there floating mid-water on a 5-0 circle hook, they may just hit that if they're being a bit picky and don't take the topwater lure. <laughs> oh, surely. That thing is big. Really? That's the biggest thing I should say. Mate. After being on the hunt for about two hours, we finally got our first sign with a really large model following in Zabie's lure. It wasn't long until this finally happened and we had them both side. Oh my God, man. There's so many. Come on, come on, hook, hook, hook. There's so many. Yeah, yeah boys. Yes. Oh, that rod was on for a second. That just bust. My rod just got eaten and fucked enough. Let's go. Uh, this one's on. Wait. Wait. Um, Tim, this one's on. Mine's on or not? No, just let's see if it's about to go. First king is on. Let's go, boys. On, on the, the light gear. Oh, oh he's good. off. All right. Come on, Griff. That rod's got no bait on it now. Barely. Oh, busting. Oh, Dang. no, you dropped. Dropped. Oh my gosh, oh, they're oh, everywhere. Oh, he's chasing. Oh, he's on it. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's on it. Go, Dylan, they're on it. Oh. In hell, come on. Yeah, I lost it. Oh, look at him. They're just there. He's sitting there, Tom. Yes. That's a, that's a king. That's a king. That's king. Nice. That's the way. 
Okay, there he goes. When Griffo's fish comes to the boat, yep. ready. Yeah, Griffy. So tell me about the combo you're running. <laughs> yeah, it's a bone rock, bone by arch. Bone by arch. He's getting some headroom on him now. Now unfortunately we're on some lighter gear because these guys had a little mishap. Somebody decided to knock off some of their gear. So if you see any cheap fishing gear, in particular, we'll list in the description on the market. You can let us know if you come across it. We've had these kings up across the boat a couple of times now. I haven't been fortunate enough to hook one yet. But they go hard. Next loop over. That's it. Yes, buddy. Yeah, cheers, man. Yes. In the boat. First king of the session. What a beautiful, beautiful creature. Well done. That was on a bit of squid. Yeah. Went pretty hard on the light gear. Incredible looking creature. Well done, Griff. Let's get another. That's a kingfish, holy shit, that's a big boy. Oh. There's the kings. He's gonna go spastic when he sees his boat. Yes. Oh my god. Oh yeah. How do I turn the motor off? It is off. <sighs> right, I'm nearly up. <sighs> right. She's right. Got him. Yeah, baby. Woo! Oh. Triples on the kings, and he spat the hook as soon as I got him in. There's so many there. Bay alarm open. I managed to grab my first kingy. We've got Andy over here. Hey, Andy! How are we? We just got the triple hookup on the squid as well. We've been throwing soft plastics around all morning. Marked a couple. Finally managed to get this one. 65 centimeters. Went hard as well. They fight so well pound for pound. I love these creatures. Three on board for that quick session. What else are we running with? Do you want to show? What do we got? Steve. It's a couple, two, 260 sort of centimetre sort of fish. Yep. Right there, all on squid. Hooked a few on the light gear, we got railed pretty quick on the plastics. Yep. Got to be stoked with that. What a beautiful feed. It's, oh, that's a king. That's a king. That's a king. And there's another kingy. Oh that's another kingy. Well, it's all happening here at the moment. Trying to do a quick little piece of content, and we can't. <laughs> Kingfish everywhere. So guys, essentially what we've been doing today is we've been throwing soft plastics around everywhere and just having squid out the back. Super helpful, just on circle hooks, just so you've got some insurance there in case they do come along like they are at the moment. So if you are out and about, give that a go and try and stop them. <laughs> yes. Too good. Now guys, um, it's quite interesting. Normally we don't have a kingfish run like this in Tassie. Well, we've been getting better and better every year. But in about the early 1990s, they put a ban on kingfish traps. So ever since that happened, we've been getting really nice populations back down south and they're a lot bigger too. So in Tassie, this is pretty exciting stuff. Another one on. And we've got another one on. 
got Fishing Australia over here as well, producing a video with us today. If you haven't seen his content, go and check that out on YouTube. So good. <laughs> that thing had the Yeah, he was going hard. Oh, Tim. Yeah, yeah, I, I can Tim, Tim, Yeah, I can I can feel it. Nice one. Just another casual king. Well done. Cheers, man. You Alright, if you want to try and swim a little bit more. Nice little release. I would conclude that to be a very good session on the Kings, gents. Well done. Um, what did you get yours on? Oh, squid. Oh, squid, squid. So I was on squid. Ah, uh, soft plastic. On yeah, the softy. Plastic. Oh. And the plastics. Oh, the cool kids in town. <laughs> Good plastic job. As I mentioned before, if you guys yeah. haven't checked out Dylan's channel, go and check out Fishing Australia. <laughs> Fishing Australia. I've got links for these boys Cheers. down below yeah. for the liquid gold for some awesome hard bodies. But I think that's a bit of a wrap for us on the Kings. Time to have a cold one and celebrate and uh, get the drone up. But thanks very much for watching guys. If you like this stuff, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat, and see you in the next one. I was taking the piss and then it hooked up. Oh, that's a big one too. Hey, buddy. I was, I was joking, man, and then it hooked up. That's actually sick. Come here, buddy. Might get a net on in a sec. Now the kingy. Thought we'd do one more quick drift. And then, hooked him. Not a bad model. Yes. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy. That's so great. So that is so Are funny. I was joking that I hooked on and then it just started running. I'm like, oh, actually. Yeah, I could feel that it was only just hooked. One more kingy for the day. Beautiful little creature, probably about 45. And he's going straight back in the drink on the squid. See you, buddy. Love ya. Have a good one. That's a wrap. Just quickly, thank you very much for watching that episode, but just to answer a couple more questions, I thought I'd run over some of the gear that we used in this episode. Um, so when we are trolling for these Kings, the Halco Laser Pros do really well trolling at about uh, six knots, so 11, 12 kilometers an hour. I run 20 pound leader. Uh, you can go a little bit heavier, but if you're not getting the bite with heavier leader, I'd highly recommend dropping down to 20 pound at least. In terms of the hooks that we were using, uh, 5.0 circle hooks will do the job. Uh, I'd just recommend weighing it down with a couple of little ball sinkers so you can get into that middle water column. In terms of soft plastics, any of the five inch jerk shads seem to be catching these uh, rat kingfish down here in Tassie. Um, on a 4.0 hook as well. If you have any other tips or tricks, feel free to post them down in the comments down below. I definitely want to try out a little bit more live baiting so you can wean out those smaller models from the big models. And that's definitely what I'll be trying over the next couple of weeks or the next month while they're still down here. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Tazcast. I've got plenty of new stock up on the Tazcast website. So if you want to support the channel for uh, you know me helping you out, head over to tazcast.com.au, purchase yourself a t-shirt, and we'll see you in the next episode. Comment down below as well. If you have any questions whatsoever, I love replying to all of you guys. And let me know the kind of content that you would like to see next. Over and out, we'll see you later, Wallaby Dick.